Benjamin Britten wrote almost all the tenor roles in his vocal works for his lover, Peter Pears. They had left England before the start of war in 1939, dissatisfied with the state of top-level music in the United Kingdom and crossing the Atlantic to live in the United States. Homesickness and nostalgia for the east coast of England, where Britain was brought up as a child, caused them to return in 1942, crossing the sea again on a Swedish freighter. Sweden was a neutral country during the war and its ships were relatively safe from German attack. Britain and Piers still faced the very real possibility of being imprisoned as conscientious objectors. Britain was a lifelong pacifist and held to his principles, and he argued successfully against having any of his freedoms to compose taken from him. Despite a serious illness at the beginning of 1943, he wrote his serenade for tenor solo, horn and string orchestra, and it was first performed in October that same year in London's Wigmore Hall, sung by Peter Pears, with a horn solo played by Dennis Brain. Britain was a very hard taskmaster, so it was high praise indeed for Dennis Brain to have this work written also for him. He had hoped for a solo horn concerto, but this was a very substantial alternative. There are six poems set to music, all of them nocturnal in nature, and in the beginning and end of the work, there is a horn solo, the prologue and the epilogue. This may surprise the uninformed listener, so please read blog number 16 on my website to find out why the prologue and epilogue sound as they do. I do hope you enjoy listening to this fascinating and unique and inspired work. Oh!